Hi, welcome to the video. In this video, we will see how the Zogo CRM and QuickBooks Online integrate to sync records bidirectionally. First and foremost, you need to install QuickBooks extension for Zogo CRM from the Zogo Marketplace. Then you need to connect the QuickBooks with Zogo CRM by clicking on connect option. It will show the message whether you have a company to connect to QuickBooks. If you don't have a company yet, click on no. Go to the QuickBooks and create a new company and come back to the extension. If you already have a company in QuickBooks, click on yes. Now sign in to QuickBooks, then click on connect button to connect the QuickBooks account with the extension. The QuickBooks section becomes blurred as it was configured successfully with the extension. Now click on the authorize corresponding to the logo CRM section. Here click on accept to allow the extension to access the data in Zogo account. Now click on next. Here it displays the terms and conditions for the extension to access the Zogo CRM. Read the terms and conditions and click on accept. You have successfully configured the QuickBooks extension for Zogo CRM. The first step prior to the synchronization is the configuration settings. First go for the Zogo Sync Configure tab. Here it displays the supported models of Zogo CRM such as contacts, accounts, products, invoice, sales order and goods. To allow the instant record sync from Zogo CRM to QuickBooks, then enable this on save record sync. You can also select the default managing fields for contacts such as phone number, email address and none. If you select the email field as mandatory, then only the record with the valid email field will be synced. And the record with the empty or duplicate email fields will not be synced. If you select the none option, then the records will sync irrespective of searching any mandatory fields. You can easily enable or disable the create, update and delete switch of any module to sync records based on the enable action. For example, if you enable the delete switch of the codes module, then whenever the codes are deleted from the logo CRM, then it will be instantly deleted on the QuickBooks. You can easily allow or deny the record sync of any module by on or off this power button respectively. Next, we go for the QB Sync Configure tab. Enable the Allow Sync option for the seamless record sync between QuickBooks and Zogo CRM. Here, it displays all the supported modules of QB. As like Zogo Sync configuration, you can easily enable or disable the Create, Update and Delete switch of any module to sync records corresponding to the enabled action. And also, you can allow or deny the record sync of any module by means of enabling or disabling the power button of the respective module. Once done with the configuration, click on the update configuration to save the set. To save the existing records individually, first disable the on save sync option on the Zogo Sync Configure tab. On the detail view of the record, click on the copy to QuickBooks button. It is easy to sync the existing record with a single click. You can also configure this extension with another QuickBooks account by simply navigating to the reset tab and clicking on the reset connection. This extension has multi-language support. To select the language, click on this language tab. You can access this extension in three different languages such as English, German and French. Select the preferred language from the drop-down and click on update language. Next, we go for mapping. First, select the module for which you need to sync records. In this mapping section, all the logo CRM fields and QuickBooks fields are mapped by default. You can also add mapping for the custom field by a simple drag and drop method. For the bulk record sync, navigate to the historical sync tab. It is the bidirectional record sync where you can easily switch the data flow from Zogo to QB and vice versa by toggling the switch between left and right. Select the module for which you need to sync records. If you select any of the inventory modules like invoice, sales order and quotes, then the contacts, accounts and products related to the record will be automatically selected. Then provide the from and to date between which you need to sync the records. And click on sync. It displays the number of records to be synced. You can easily verify and click on continue to sync.
Now all the records will be in the specified time interval will be synced on the selected data flow. Then we go for the audit page. Here it displays all the sync statuses of every record sync. It includes the module name, data flow, error message created by success and failure sync status, and the created date and time. From the audit page, you can also resync the failed record sync by simply clicking on the resync option corresponding to the failed record sync. It is also easy to search any particular record sync by means of the column details. For that, click on this search bar. Now, if I am searching for the module product, then all the records that were synced on the product module will be listed here. You can also filter the record sync between any particular time interval by clicking on the filter option. By this, all the record sync between the specified time interval will be filtered. To remove the filter, click on this clear filter option. Now enjoy the bidirectional record sync between your Zoho CRM and QuickBooks Online seamlessly within a few clicks. Hope this video will be helpful. Thanks for watching.